Hello everyone. We are students of Vishwa Karma Institute of Technology, Pune. Welcome to this video on the division restoring algorithm. If you've ever wondered how computers divide large numbers efficiently, this algorithm is a key to it. In this video, we'll walk through the steps of the division restoring algorithm and see how it works in practice. So, let's get started. So, we are group 4 from division I, batch 1. So our topic is division restoring algorithm. So, let us start. So, firstly, what is division restoring algorithm? Division restoring algorithm is used to divide two unsigned integers. This algorithm is called restoring because it restores the value of accumulator after each or some iterations. So, let us see the flowchart of division restoring algorithm. Step 1. First, the register are initialized with corresponding values. That is, Q is equal to dividend, M is equal to divisor, A is equal to 0, N is equal to number of bits in dividend. Step 2. Then the content of register A and Q is shifted left as if they are single unit. Step 3. Then the content of register M is subtracted from A and result is stored in A. Step 4. Then the most significant bit of A is checked. If it is 0, then least significant bit of Q is set to 1. Otherwise, if it is 1, the least significant bit of Q is set to 0. And the value register A is restored, that is the value of A before the subtraction with M. Step 5. The value of counter N is decremented. Step 6. If the value of N becomes 0, we get of the loop. Otherwise, we repeat from step 2. Step 7. Finally, the register Q contains the quotient and A contains the remainder. Now, let's see the hardware implementation of division restoring algorithm. The restoring division algorithm is a classic technique for performing integer division. It involves a series of steps that use simple arithmetic operations such as addition and subtraction to compute the quotient and remainder of a division operation. The hardware implementation of the restoring division algorithm involves a combination of arithmetic logic units, registers and control logic. Here we have three registers that is M register, Q register and A register. In Q register we are storing dividend and in M register we are storing divisor. The next is A register. We are initially setting it to A to 0. A register and M register are of N plus 1 bit. Here N plus 1 and N plus 1, we have to add that value. Then we have N plus 1 bit adder. Then next is control logic. To control actions for left shift, addition and subtraction. This will be decided by this control logic. Control logic will send some signals to register for left shift, addition and subtraction. So let us see the example in which we have to divide 11 by 3. Here 11 is dividend uh, which is represented by Q and 3 is divisor which is represented by M. So firstly we will represent 11 in unsigned binary form which is equal to 1011. One, one. Uh, now the number of bits re required to represent Q are 4. Hence we will represent M which is the uh, divisor and a which is accumulator in n plus 1 that is 4 plus 1 that is 5 bits so 3 is represented uh, using 5 bits which is uh, represented inside m and a is uh, initialized to 0 uh, using 5 bits now the uh, value of n or the number of bits which are required to represent uh, q or dividend is 4 hence the count will also start from 4 after initializing first of all we will shift uh, to the uh, shift left to the uh, and q now the LSB of the uh, Q is actually uh, written as dash and hence the shift left operation is done. After shift left, op shift left operation, uh, the uh, operation A is equal to A minus M is performed or we can simply uh, perform the operation A is equal to A plus 2's complement of M and if the carry is generated uh, there, we will ignore the carry. After that, uh, looking at the MSB of the A, now here the MSB of the A is 1. Hence, uh, the Q0 or LSB of the Q will be initialized to 0. After that, the uh, count will be uh, decremented by 1 and hence now value of N will be 3. 
so after decrementing the value we will again follow the same procedure uh, now uh, here uh, m is 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, a is uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, and the lsb of the uh, q is given as dash after that we will perform the uh, left shift operation on a and q hence now uh, after performing the left shift operation we will again perform the operation a is equal to a minus m or a is equal to a plus 2's complement of m uh, then uh, the uh, msb of a is 0 because of which the q0 or the bit uh, lsb bit of the q will be initialized to 0 so we will again decrement the value of n uh, now value of n is equal to 2 after that we will perform the left shift operation uh, and write L and write lsb of q as uh, dash after that we will perform the operation a is equal to a minus m and here now the uh, msb of the a is equal to 0 hence the last bit of the q or the lsb of the q uh, will be initialized to 1 after that uh, again we will decrement the uh, value of n now n has the value equal to 1 then again we will uh, perform the shift left operation and write dash uh, in uh, lsb of the q after that we will perform the operation a is equal to a minus m and now uh, a has uh, msb of the a has value equal to equal to 0 hence uh, q0 or uh, lsb of the q will have a value 1 and now since uh, value of n now if we decrement becomes 0 hence we have to stop and hence the answer is uh, there uh, now 0, 0, 1, 1 is the quotient of our answer and 0, 0, 1, 0 has the remainder hence we have successfully done with our example 1 Shift so let us see another example 6 divided by 2 so here q that is the dividend is 6 which is in binary 0, 1, 1, 0 and m that is the divisor is 2 which is in binary 0, 0, 1, 0 now in the beginning only we will find minus 2 by taking the 2's complement of 2 which comes out as 1110. So the number of steps required is equal to the number of bits in the dividend. So here the dividend has 4 bits. So we will require 4 steps. Uh, so we have starting from n equals 4. Start by initializing the accumulator to 0. So we have accumulator as 0000, dividend 0110. So let's go with the algorithm. The very first step is left shift aq. So we shift the dividend to left by one position. After left shift, the accumulator becomes 0000, and Q is 011, and an empty bit. Now next step is A equals A minus M. So we subtract M, and that is the divisor from the accumulator. So subtracting M means adding two's complement of M. So after performing A minus M, we get A as 1110. Now since the MSB of A is 1. So the step is said to be unsuccessful. So we set the Q0 as 0 and we restore A. Uh, at the end of the first pass, that is n equals 4, we have A as 0000, 0, 0, 0 and Q as 0, 1, 0, 0. Now let's repeat the same for further passes. For n equals 3, we have A as 0000, 0, 0, 0 and Q as 1, 1, 0, 0. First, uh, left shift AQ which give a as 0, 0, 0, 1, and q as 1 0, 0, and then an empty bit uh, next subtract m from a that is at two's complement of m which gives a as 1 1 1 1 now since the msb of a is 1 uh, thus the step is unsuccessful so we set the q 0 as 0 and restore a so at the end of n equals 3 we have a as 0 0 0 1 and Q as 1000. Now for n equals 2, we have A as 0001 and Q as 1000. Perform left shift AQ, which gives A as 0011 and Q as 00 and an empty bit. Then perform A minus M, that is add 2's complement of M. So we add minus 2, which gives A as 0001. Now since the MSB of A is 0, the step is said to be successful thus we set the q0 to 1 and here we don't need to restore a so at the end of n equals 2 
we have a as 0 0 0 1 and q as 0 0 0 1 now for last pass we have for n equals 1 we have a as 0 0 0 1 and q as 0 0 0 1 perform left shift which gives a as 0 0 1 0 and q as 0 0 1 and an empty bit then perform a minus m so adding minus 2 we get a as 0 0 0 0 now since the msb of a is 0 the step is successful so we set the q0 as 1 and we don't need to restore a so that's it we have completed uh, all the four steps and at the end we get a remainder which is stored in the register a and the quotient which is stored in the register q so the remainder is 0 and the quotient is 0, 0, 1, 1, that is 2. Hello everyone, this is role number 19. Let us discuss about division restoring algorithm. In division restoring algorithm, the divisor is repeatedly subtracted from the dividend until the result is less than the divisor. At each step, the quotient digit is determined by counting the number of subtractions required to reduce the result to less than the divisor. This algorithm is called restoring because at each step, the result is restored by adding the divisor to it if the result becomes negative. So the advantages of restoring division algorithm over non-restoring division algorithm are let us discuss the point wise the first one is more accurate restoring division algorithm is more accurate as it always generates a positive quotient and remainder whereas non-restoring division can sometimes generate a negative remainder so the second one is Simpler hardware Restoring division algorithm requires simpler hardware as compared to non-restoring division algorithm. This is because restoring division algorithms always generates a positive quotient whereas non-restoring division algorithm can generate negative quotients which requires additional hardware to handle the negative numbers. So the last one is faster for some inputs. Restoring division algorithm is faster than non-restoring division algorithm for inputs where the divisor is close to the dividend. This is because in restoring division algorithm, the divisor is always subtracted from the dividend. Whereas in non-restoring division algorithm, the divisor is subtracted from the dividend only if the result is positive. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked the video and learned something new, please hit the like button.